Hi, so I just wanted to give you a quick run through, very quick run through of our, our latest um, economic indicators report, this one covering stock markets. We'll be doing other ones for GDP and employment and things like that in the coming weeks and months. But this is our sort of first effort. Um, we wanted to build in um, all of the major indices that we could find. So we've taken data from Yahoo Finance for that. We've also used the stocks function in Microsoft Excel and we've pulled news on stock markets and news on COVID-19 from newsapi.org. Um, so we're searching for news from companies like Business Insider, Market Watch, Reuters, Bloomsburg, BBC, all, all of the sort of top news um, providers that you would expect. So if you go to the, the first page, latest share price, I'll just try and keep it fairly quick just for the purposes of a shortish video. Um, you've got a list, of, a, a tabular view of all of the companies within the selected index, so you've got the Dow Jones or the FTSE or Hang Seng, Nikkei, um, loads of different ones. I'll stick on the Dow Jones. Uh, you've got a switch here between sort of one month, uh, last one month, last six months, last year, um, or five years you can go back to. We've actually got data going back a lot further than that, <clears throat> but I've limited this just to five years for now. Um, and then if you click on uh, a company in the table, so that, first of all, you can sort this table. So if you wanted to see the sort of biggest winners and losers, I suppose, um, in the last day or uh, so this shows you the latest close and daily increase. And then it shows you as well uh, the start a year ago to, to the latest and the percentage delta over that year, depending on what you've selected. And then if you click on a company, let's say Walmart, <coughs> These stars indicate whether we've got news for that company. Um, so it's searching over the last month, basically. Uh, and when you click on a company, the chart shows that company. You get the description down here of uh, a bit of information about the company. And then you get a drill through button to company performance. So you can go through there and we'll see a much more detailed analysis of uh, Walmart. So again, you've got the the switch down the side so you can change the date range. You get This is where you start getting news. So this is all of the news that relates to Walmart. So if I click on um, this one, uh, it doesn't actually reference Walmart <clears throat> within the, the sort of headline, but if you go to the, the news article, you will find that Walmart is men mentioned in there. Um, so this again is the, the company description. We've got the headquarters and for the larger companies, we've pulled information from the Forbes 2000 um, ranking for 2020 as well. So we've got indicatives of market value, um, value of assets, sales and profits of, of the company. And then this is showing the, the daily increases and decreases and the trend line, obviously, for the share price over time. So quite a lot, quite a lot on there. And then we can go through to um, a, a sort of major index comparator page with these hyperlinks at the bottom. So this shows you the 18 indices that we're bringing through data for. <clears throat> and this is all measured from a from a particular date that you can choose. So this is this is really related to a um, COVID events timeline that, we, that we've collect, uh, collected. Um, so you can go and have a look at that timeline of key events by clicking here. And you can change the range that you're looking over, but this is March the 20th, Boris Johnson ordered pubs and restaurants to close across the country. Um, so there's a load of different events there. So if you wanted to see the percentage change from a different date, you would just change this um, to a different date. And this blue marker would kind of realign itself and you'd get the percentage variance from there. We've also got a couple of uh, sort of pop-out panels here for financial markets news. So this one, you can select the index that you want news about. So if we go on the FTSE, uh, I think um, I think that hasn't done actually. It's just I was, I was put off by the fact that it, oh there you go, it's doing it. It's a bit slow through Microsoft Teams on the screen share sometimes, but uh, you won't find that when you actually go to the website and have a look. And then we've got COVID nineteen um, headlines here again uh, across a range of categories. So. Um, we've got business, we've got general health, science and sports, technology. So we've got on the business news. And again, this is this. Oh, sorry, I'm yeah. we've got on the. Um, <clears throat> on the business news, this is this is news relating to COVID. So it's business news relating to COVID as opposed to any particular index. 
And then from each of these charts, these index charts, you can click through. So if we wanted to have a better look at the FTSE, going in there and have and this is all showing the percentage change since the date, the, the event date um, within COVID. And again, we've got certain companies where we've, we've found news. So AstraZeneca, for example, you click on there, you get Zeneca's performance over time since the 14th of February. Um, again, you can click through and have a better look at AstraZeneca, um, same page as, as before. And then we've also grouped these companies because we're, we're looking at percentage changes we've grouped it into uh, sectors as well using the GICS sectors um, sorry about the uh, speed of this <clears throat> so it's sectors like financials industrials materials um, consumer discretionary consumer staples healthcare information technology so when this loads, the uh, this is the financials sector. So the percentage change is showing the average percentage change of the financial companies within each index. Um, the Nasdaq 100 doesn't have any financial companies in it. They were parked off onto the um, Nasdaq financials 100, I think it was. Um, but yeah, so you can click through, change the sector that you're looking at. So if you wanted to look at materials, for example, you click up there, and then this will this will update. <coughs> to just show the companies that are in the materials sector. And then there's a button here, just while that's refreshing, there's a button here where you can go and view the uh, COVID events timeline again, but this this is a, it's a full page basically, so you can scroll through and see see what dates different things happened on over the past six months. So if we're, if we're here and we wanted to, I don't know, if we're, let's say we want to go and have a look at the uh, the Dow Jones from here, you'd click on the Dow Jones chart. Um, in fact, it's only got the one within materials, as a bad example. Um, but the, the, what, you, what you'll get is a chart here showing the um, the, the sort of winners and losers, the, the increases and decreases of the companies within the sector that you're drawing through from. Um, so if I go back to financials, can hear my computer whirring away. It's not that bad, I promise, when you're on the website. Um, and I go through to the FTSE for financials, you'll see there's a few different companies here. So you can see that 15.1% is an average of these increases and decreases. And then you can click on a company down the side to get the performance for that company, get the information about the company again. Um, and that's really that's really it. I mean, loads of stuff to go through. Um, you can get lost in here, but the, there's always a BI Horizons button down at the bottom left, so you can get back to the cover page from there. Um, and these direct you to those three major pages, but then you've got other functionality within there as well. So, hope you enjoy it. It's on our website, on our um, BI Horizons website, um, along with a load of other demos, which some of you will have seen, some of you might not have. Um, but if you just navigate to the demos page. You'll see it's there. We've put it sort of far from there because it's the latest one. It's alongside our COVID one, our football one, got our sort of more core business and um, financial performance ones, and some geospatial stuff and sales and margins. So, um, <clears throat> love you to have a look, and uh, would really appreciate your feedback if you've got any. Thanks very much.